Asia is an enormous continent distancing more than 17 million square miles. It's the most populated continent in the world, being home to over 4.6 billion people. With over 2,300 languages, 48 countries and thousands of diverse groups and tribes, Asia is truly a place with a lot to offer. From Turkey's underground city to poisoning trees, here are the 15 strangest things recently discovered in Asia. Number 15. Turkey's Underground City Beneath a scorching valley in Cappadocia in Turkey is a hidden underground city that was never seen before. This massive complex that once housed 20,000 people didn't reveal itself until 1963. It was discovered by pure chance. A man was renovating his house when he knocked down a wall and discovered a tunnel. After venturing further into the passage, he found himself in the middle of a long labyrinth. Overall, the entire subterranean complex had several levels and reached over 85 meters deep beneath the ground. It was named the underground city of Derinkuyu. This underground complex dates back to the 7th century BC. Despite this fact, it's a magnificent metropolis with a multitude of rooms, including kitchens, warehouses, bedrooms, schools, a cellar, and even a church among many other rooms. Living underground was made possible by the small vents that ran through the entire complex. The ventilation system made it so thousands of people could breathe fresh air underground. Water also wasn't a problem, as the city had an ingenious water system that let them store large amounts of it. Today, there are 600 entrances to this underground city, most of which can be found in private homes nearby. Hundreds of years ago, this complex concealed thousands of people, but today it's a mysterious archaeological site that continues to baffle archaeologists worldwide. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 14. The Raincoat Man of Japan The Raincoat Man sounds like a sinister nickname, and it is. In 2022, the locals in Osaka, Japan were victimized by a strange criminal. The people began noticing that the raincoats they kept outside of their homes kept disappearing. Initially, people brushed it off as a simple neighborhood prank. But when the disappearances continued years later, they began seeing a pattern. Over the span of 13 years, a staggering 360 raincoats were stolen from most houses in Osaka. The alarming thing is that all of the coats belonged to women. After more than 50 coats disappeared, the locals gave the culprit quite a goofy name, the Raincoat Man. But it's also somewhat creepy. Thanks to Japanese police, the culprit was apprehended. It turned out that the man behind the rather strange crime was 51-year-old Yoshio Yoda. The man worked as a newspaper delivery man during the day, which let him freely survey which homes to steal from next. Authorities believe that he developed his strange habit after years of being on the job. Since 2009, Yoda had stolen any raincoats he saw hanging outside of houses around Osaka. Although it doesn't sound like a serious crime, if you estimate the average cost of each coat and add them all together, Yoda's crime still had an estimated total damage of 1.12 million yen. Number 13. Mysterious Giant Creature Discovered in Indonesia The locals living on the island of Saram in Indonesia woke up to a perplexing sight. Near the shore was an enormous mass. The strange gray pile was a sea creature carcass that none of the locals were familiar with. As people who have lived on the island for their entire lives, they were wary of the unknown remains that somehow ended up near their village. The strange creature intrigued the entire nation for several days. Theories began pouring in as people guessed what the animal really was. Among those were outrageous claims, like the deceased animal was an unknown giant from the Twilight Zone, or that it was a monster that signified a bad omen. Researchers quickly got on the move to determine the real identification of the creature. After examining samples from the carcass, researchers concluded that the alleged sea monster wasn't an elusive animal that came from the depths of the ocean. In reality, the creature that was washed ashore was a massive baleen whale. They can grow up to 56 feet long and weigh up to 100 metric tons. These animals are harmless to humans when they're alive, but when their corpses are washed ashore, they can be considered threats to people living near the area. Deceased beached whales have the tendency to bloat as gaseous pressure builds up inside its body. Due to this, there's a chance that the carcass could explode. What's more, they're also tough to dispose of, and the pungent smell could last for days or even weeks. Number 12. Devoted man who had his hand raised for more than four decades. 
2022 marks the 46th year that Amar Bharati held his right hand high in the air. Amar is one of the most unique and interesting people you'll find in Asia. Living in a bustling and human settlement in India, Bharati has consistently kept one of his arms raised for more than four decades. Keeping one of your arms raised is incredibly painful, and it takes an iron will to keep it raised. A few hours of keeping your arms high up in the air is already excruciating. Keeping one of your limbs in an abnormal position for weeks and months is more punishing. Even as months and years pass by and the pain subsides, the limbs are considered useless. Most people don't understand the reason why Bharati deliberately destroyed his own body until they hear his story. Bharati worked at an Indian bank in the 1970s. He was an ordinary salary man who lived a humble but happy life with his wife and three children. However, his priorities in life drastically changed after a dream came to him in his sleep. When he woke up, it was like he had an epiphany out of nowhere. He decided to quit his job, leave his family and friends, and abandon the life he knew altogether. Bharati began living in temples and the streets. He deprived himself of worldly pleasures and became a devoted believer of Shiva. But no matter how much he tried to stay true to his beliefs, he was still occasionally plagued by doubts and temptation. To strengthen his faith, Bharati decided to raise his right hand and hold it up for the rest of his life. It was a painful oath. It was a promise that made him sacrifice one of his limbs. In the end, Bharati's virtue and belief were noticed by other monks. They too tried to follow his example. Today, Bharati continues to express his belief, and with his arms raised in the air, he continues to yearn for world peace. Number 11. Woman in Thailand finds whale vomit possibly worth millions. On February 21, 2022, a 30-year-old woman stumbled upon a strange discovery while walking along a beach in Thailand. She stumbled upon a massive lump on the shore, and when she looked closer, she realized that she might be a millionaire very soon. The woman carefully picked up the large mass and had it examined at the Scientific Research Center at Prince of Songkla University. After the analysis was complete, the woman's suspicions were verified. She stumbled upon whale vomit. I know, it sounds disgusting, and you're probably thinking, how could this gross mass make someone a millionaire? But hear me out. Amber grease may sound like a repulsive mass, but it's worth big bucks. About 200 pounds of quality amber grease can be sold for nearly $3 million on the market. Some perfume houses might be willing to pay a steeper price tag for good quality amber grease. You see, this repulsive chunk is a valuable ingredient in perfume making. Most of the time, amber grease smell is comparable to dried cow dung. However, its scent becomes mellow as it floats in the ocean. Its soft texture also gets harder over time, and its scent also changes. There's no single way to describe the scent of this rare mass, but it ranges from sweet and musky to earthy. Using amber grease to make a perfume not only enhances its scent, but also improves its longevity. But no matter how valuable it is, it's illegal to trade and sell ambergris from hunted whales. After all, these creatures must be protected to keep their populations safe. Number 10. Vietnamese woman lives off of water alone. In 2022, a woman in Vietnam made waves on the internet after claiming that she has consumed nothing but water for the past 40 years. The Vietnamese woman named Ms. Nan claimed that she stopped eating solid food when she was 23 years old. Instead of eating her usual meals, she decided to consume water instead. However, it wasn't just water. She claimed that she would always drink a glass of water with salt, sugar, and a bit of lemon juice. This was allegedly enough for her to survive and stay in tip-top condition. She claimed that a life-threatening illness compelled her to make the sudden change. At the age of 21, she began experiencing health problems. Her vision began deteriorating, and she frequently experienced stomach aches. After a series of tests, doctors told her that she was suffering from a blood disease. She took the medications given to her, and after seeing little to no improvement, she stopped taking everything altogether. In a state of despair, she believed that she didn't have long to live. But after she stopped eating food and relied on water for nutrients, she slowly began feeling better. However, the woman doesn't recommend the water-based diet to anyone. She acknowledged that the human body naturally requires food to function. Ms. Ngan believes that she's a special case and that it's a miracle that the water-based diet worked for her. Number 9. Japanese Monster Crab Those in Asia, especially people living in Japan and its neighboring countries, are already familiar with Japanese spider crabs. 
However, only a few people elsewhere in the world know about these monstrous creatures' existence. If you're afraid of spiders, tough luck, because there are arachnid-like creatures underwater, and more than 10 times bigger than spiders on land. A Japanese spider crab, also known as the long-legged crab, has several spindly legs that don't quite fit its small carapace. These creatures live at depths between 160 and 1900 feet, and their terror factor increases the deeper they are. A single leg of this crab can span up to 12 feet long, and the behemoths among them easily tower over a small child. Despite their size, these creatures don't pose a serious threat to humans, but they do have strong claws that can cut someone's skin. Unless you have an extreme fear of spiders or anything that resembles arachnids, you'll most likely see these creatures as nothing but seafood. Number 8. 2,000-year-old graffiti Graffiti is a visual art form that is usually painted or drawn on a wall or other surfaces. In most cases, this art form is considered illegal, but despite its bad reputation, it's a valid expression of art nonetheless. The drawings and paintings on walls may seem insignificant, but they are symbols and illustrations that mean something. If graffiti that we see today symbolizes things in the present time, similar illustrations made 2,000 years ago hold more significance. Archaeologists were baffled when they discovered graffiti on the plaster walls of an ancient Roman water cistern in Israel. The cistern was 39 feet deep, and the symbols on the wall immediately caught their attention. An amateur didn't do the graffiti, and it was worth taking a look at. Archaeologists noted that whoever drew the illustration on the wall had knowledge of ship construction. It seemed like a ship expert got bored 2,000 years ago and decided to draw a small illustration on the wall. It might have been something he did to pass the time, but today, it's a significant piece of history. Number 7. Ancient Artifact or Massager Several maintenance workers in Jerusalem stumbled upon a baffling discovery while examining an old building in a cemetery. Inside the establishment were several old boxes. Initially, they thought that the objects inside the boxes were munitions or bombs, but after careful inspection, they found something more valuable. Inside one of the boxes was an object about a foot long. It weighed 19 pounds and had knobs on either end. At the center of the object were several rings. Experts in the Israel Antiquities Authority examined the object to determine what it was. Was the golden item a historical artifact? A strange decoration? A back massager? The possibilities were endless. Fortunately, experts didn't take long to figure out the real purpose of the object. It turned out that it was no archaeological artifact. It was a New Age tool sold by a German company. The mysterious gold-plated object was a gilded ISIS beamer. Over 25,000 pieces of the item have been sold by the company so far, although its purpose is quite vague. According to the company, the ISIS beamer was supposed to harmonize the energy inside a house, especially in a person's workplace or bedroom. In the end, there wasn't a historical riddle for the experts to solve. Instead, they were just misled by a piece of bioenergy technology. Number 6. Half Crocodile, Half Buffalo It's possible for hybrids to exist. In fact, you might have seen some of them. There are several animal hybrids today. Ligers, Mules, Zorse, Tigons, and Kama. The morals and ethics concerning these creatures remain highly debated to this day. But it's a fact that it's possible for two different species to have offspring together. However, the two must be closely related to each other. A liger, for example, is a combination of two fierce big cats, the lion and the tiger. The same goes for the tigon. It's unheard of that two extremely different species successfully bred and produced offspring. And yet, a half-crocodile, half-buffalo was allegedly born in a small village in Thailand. The animal died shortly after birth, but the villagers kept its body on display for a long time. The calf was born to a healthy buffalo, but when the young animal was birthed, it was covered with reptile-like scales. Moreover, it also had an elongated snout that wasn't typical of this animal. Footage of the animal was posted on the internet, and people not only from Thailand were shocked by the strange creature. As I've said before, it's quite impossible for a predator like a crocodile to breed with an animal that is considered prey, in this case a buffalo. The anatomy of both animals just doesn't work like that. Experts explain that the young animal might have been born with a nasty skin disease, and a weak body, which could explain its extremely short life and odd appearance. But despite their insistence, several of the locals believed that the animal was a real hybrid and a sign of good fortune. Number 5. Giant Stone Jars of India 
If you're an aspiring archaeologist, don't lose hope, because there are still a lot of areas that need to be excavated. Recently, archaeologists stumbled upon massive jars in India. The sandstone vessels were scattered across the wilderness of Assam. So far, about 65 individual jars have been discovered by archaeologists. It's believed that there are more out there. The ancient objects were tall, cylindrical, and bulbous. Others resemble the tall earthen pots we see today, while some are shaped like two cones stacked together. Although several of the jars have been examined closely by experts, their origin and purpose remains unclear. The source of the sandstone used to create the pots is also a mystery. To this day, the identity of the people who created the giant jars is unknown. But we have a small clue. The jars aren't unique to India alone. In fact, similar jars were recovered across Laos and Indonesia. This could mean whichever group of people created the vessels traveled far and wide across several countries. And in each place they went to, they all left behind some of the vessels they made. And now it's time for today's topic. What they discovered in Asia shocked the whole world. Countless creatures around the world are considered terrifying by many. However, there is no doubt that nothing is more terrifying than a unicorn. That's why the locals of a sleepy village in Central Asia were incredibly baffled upon seeing this spindle-legged creature. The unknown monster was photographed lurking near a house in an isolated neighborhood. Because of how quickly the creature disappeared from sight, none of the locals could take a clearer photo of it. Several people on the internet claimed that it was a cryptid, while some believed it was a possessed woman or a ghost. Luckily for the disturbed locals, the creature was only spotted once around the area and was never seen again. But what do you think this creature is? As always, comment down below with the hashtag today's topic and let us know your opinion about what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 4. Woman who helped an astronaut return to Earth. We all have abilities and skills on our own. Some of us have an innate talent for sports, while some are born with a natural gift for absorbing knowledge about a certain field. Among us are those who are gifted with the ability to speak eloquently. Being a great speaker doesn't sound like much, but combine it with knowledge about human psychology and you'll have a guaranteed way to have your way with anyone you talk to. Perhaps that's why a Japanese woman was fooled into paying a staggering $30,000 to a man she met online. Scams like this aren't something new. People in the United States often receive calls and texts from several scam centers worldwide. I bet many of you guys have been contacted about your non-existent car's extended warranty, am I right? These scammers usually follow the same script and have the same modus. But the man who tricked this Japanese woman was created. A 65-year-old woman from Shiga Prefecture in Japan met and fell in love with a man who introduced himself as a Russian astronaut. The man claimed that he was stuck in the International Space Station and that he couldn't go home unless he paid a hefty sum. Swayed by sweet words and sentiments, the old woman continuously sent money to the man, and in the span of several months, the total amounted to more or less $30,000. Luckily, the woman decided enough was enough and reported the man to the authorities when he didn't stop asking for more money. Needless to say, the police were floored to hear her story. It was quite unfortunate, but the only person to blame was the man who took advantage of an old woman. To this day, there are no updates on whether the scammer has been apprehended or if he finally returned to Earth. Number 3. Oasis in the Middle of the Gobi Desert Sitting in Central Asia lies the Gobi Desert, an arid environment that stretches across several parts of Mongolia and China. The Gobi Desert occupies a huge expanse of land that stretches 1,000 miles long and 600 miles wide. The environment of the Gobi Desert is a tough one, and it's hard for life to flourish in it. And yet, an 82-year-old man managed to nurture a green oasis in the middle of the sandy wasteland. The man from Mongolia dedicated the last three decades of his life to keeping the small oasis alive. He began nurturing the 16-hectare oasis in the early 1900s and continued to do so until he grew old. Because of his age, the man's grandchild is now responsible for keeping the small oasis alive. Even so, the 82-year-old is considered a legend for accomplishing such an incredible feat. Number 2. Indonesia's Playboy King A 61-year-old farmer from Indonesia recently made waves on the internet thanks to his rather interesting love life. The 61-year-old man named Khan was named the country's Playboy King after his personal relationships were revealed. It turned out that Khan has been married to 87 women and he's on his way to marrying his 88th wife. 
Although monogamy is the norm in most countries and staying true to one partner is the standard among many religions, some still believe otherwise. In fact, several religions and tribes freely permit polyamorous and polygamous relationships. Even so, Khan's sheer number of wives throughout his life was enough to surprise many people. His age is literally less than the number of his wives. I don't know how he managed to do it, but there were certain years when he married two or three women at the same time. According to Khan, he first got married when he was a young 14-year-old boy. He was wed to a 16-year-old girl near their village, but unfortunately their marriage was short-lived. After two years, the marriage was broken. Not long after their separation, Khan decided to find another woman to marry, and he continued to marry whoever he wanted. According to Khan, he doesn't treat wives like objects and treasures them dearly. Out of the 87 marriages he has, 40 were registered in the local religious affairs office, while others were traditional weddings. Number 1. Poisoning Trees You usually see IV drips in hospitals. It's an intravenous treatment that is slowly infused into the patient's bloodstream through a plastic catheter inserted into the vein. You usually see this being used on humans or animal patients. But in China, IV drips are being used on trees. It's not being utilized conventionally either. Instead of curing trees, these IV drips are inserted into their trunks and branches to slowly kill them. But what exactly is the motive behind this strange practice? Why did people decide to inject healthy plants with this dubious looking liquid to begin with? This photo made waves on the internet and several people had their own theories explaining its story. Some people claimed that the trees were part of an art installation meant to signify deforestation or the destruction of nature. Others claimed that the IV drips were merely vitamins and supplements to nourish the trees as they grew. Some believed that it was a newly developed pesticide to ward off harmful insects. But the truth is on the negative end of the spectrum. The trees in the photo are Chiara, a rare type of agarwood used in the perfume and incense industries. It has a very complex and strong fragrance. However, this tree has a strange attribute. It only produces high-quality agarwood after being infected with a certain type of mold. The IV drips connected to the trees introduce the mold to the entire organism, slowly killing them in the process as well. Have you ever visited any country in Asia before? How did your experience go? Let me know about it in the comments down below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.